Welcome to another Thursday night vlog. It seems ages since I've done one of these, but I just kind of want to keep these videos nice and fresh for you. I know I've been getting some fantastic feedback from everyone. One of the biggest things that's really surprised me is how many people actually prefer this sort of thing to the actual stuff that's out there on the bank. So I'm trying to give it a nice balance just so that you know you're all going to keep keep logging on, keep watching the videos, and keep subscribing. It's been a really busy week, but a strange week as regards the pro progress of this channel. I've done quite a bit of filming this week, but it's not anything that I can really show you yet. The reason for that is because a lot of the events that I've been covering, I know that a lot of you are really interested in them. You like to see how they pan out, what the results are, and just kind of what my thoughts are after the event. One of the things I want to really get involved in more is just kind of showing the, the prep and, and how I actually plan and go into these competitions. So I've been doing filming in the tackle room and that sort of thing just on the lead up to one or two of the, the events that I've got coming up soon so when the videos for those events are actually uploaded you're going to have a little bit of a, an element of the preparation there and my thoughts before the event so I know a lot of you are going to be interested in that because I know you've been asking about it. This time next week we'll be really looking forward to the Northern Angling show obviously that is next weekend Hopefully, I'm going to see a lot of you there. I know a lot of you are already going anyway to have a look at all the different company brands and, and just the tattle out there and, and just make a nice social visit out of it more than anything. For those of you who have never been to a show like that before, last year I actually attended both the Big One show and the Northern Angling show and I actually filmed a little bit of a, a bit of a vlog really of the day, both days. So what I'll do is below, I'll put the links to those videos for you just so you can check them out see what it's all about it might just give you a bit of a taste for it i'm telling you this now because it's a week away and that obviously gives anyone what's interested who wasn't interested before or didn't even know about it that you've still got plenty of time to get tickets in advance i think the tickets are cheaper in advance so again below this video i'll put a link to the northern angling show website so that you can purchase tickets in advance and i think you can sort your parking out as well just so you can come along on either the saturday or the sunday or both days even some of these events actually have like a, a weekend package as well and i think they even throw a goodie bag in there and some sort of vip kind of um, ticket so just check that out like i said the link's below it'd be great to see a lot of you i know a lot of you keep in touch through messages and comments and, and and facebook and all that sort of stuff and emails but obviously it'd be nice to meet a lot of you face to face you'll obviously get a chance to meet the other guys that are there as well the matrix anglers and we'll be surrounded by all the new kit as well so a lot of this kit that you see me using on the bank that i keep talking about i'll tell you why i use it and obviously if you can see it yourself pick it up and just check it out for yourself in the flesh you know so if you're going to be there, please come and say hello, it'll be great to see you. Another bit of news from this week, it's not something I can tell you everything about, purely because we don't know all the details yet. A lot of you were interested to see that we actually entered a, or attempted to enter a Matrix team in the Feeder Masters Super League competition for this year. As a lot of you already know, in order to get into that competition, you've got to fish a qualifier and obviously finish in a qualified position to you know, get the chance to fish the league. Our Matrix team, because there was such high demand for, for this qualifier, our Matrix team didn't make the cut, unfortunately. All our names got drawn out of a hat, as it were, and our team came out last, so we won't be entering a team in that. What has happened and really kind of been confirmed this week is that I've been approached by a team to fish with them, which I'm incredibly pleased about, because it's a competition that I, I want to be involved in every year. And obviously it's a competition I need and want to be involved in, you know, I'm so passionate about that, that competition. So I'm going to be fishing with a team. I can't tell you much more than that because we haven't even decided on, a, on an official name yet. But the qualifier takes place the same weekend as the uh, big one show down in Farnborough, which is an unfortunate clash. So yeah, assuming and if we can get the tactics right, the qualifier is at Barston Lakes. If we get the tactics right and we qualify, we will be fishing the Super League later on this year, which is obviously our ultimate goal. But I'll obviously keep you informed and give you more information about that nearer the time because I know a lot of you have been asking about it and I know a lot of the anglers watching these videos fish that competition. It would be fantastic to be a part of it again this year. Okay, I've had a few questions coming again this week. 
So I'm just going to do a quick spot on Q&As. I've had a few questions come in again this week. I've had loads come in over the last few days, but I'm not going to do them all now. I've only got probably four or five I'll do now because I want to keep this nice and fresh and punchy for you. I don't want to bang on about too many questions because it can get boring, I know. So I'm just going to go through these now for you. The rest of the questions, if I don't answer your question now, I'll just answer that next week. I apologise, I can't fit them all in, so let's just have a quick look what we've got. Hi Jamie, can you tell me what sort of length or how many turns you have of a shot leader on your reel? Um, I was just kind of taught to have between three and four turns on your reel when you're actually casting. So obviously, I mean, I tend to fish with an eight metre shot leader with, with a 12 foot rod or 3.6 metres or with an 11 foot rod, I've usually got about a six metre shot leader. So yeah, just between three and four turns on your reel. I've been asked this loads of times before, so I'm going to answer it, and hopefully I'm going to answer it in the right way. I've been asked again why isn't Darren Cox part of the feeder international team, the England team. I'm going to answer this. I consider Darren a friend, and you know, I've got massive respect for Darren. I really get along well with him, and it's great to bounce ideas off him on the few times that I do actually see him. I don't see him very often. Darren, a lot of people don't realise, Darren was involved with the um, England float side, the float team, for, for years, you know, and he had a very successful spell there. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly how many years that was, I'd have to research it for you, but yeah, he fished in, in that team. But then he was actually involved with the England feeder team. He fished the World Championships in Ghent on the rowing course. I'm not sure what year that was. It was on the Ghent rowing course, he fished the World Championships there, and then the following year he travelled to South Africa, for the World Championship the following year. Uh, and then after that, he just kind of, I, I think he decided it wasn't for him, for whatever reason. And he just packed all the whole international scene in and he's just loving his fishing. He's loving the events that um, he's getting involved in. And come on, I mean, the, the results are speaking for themselves. He's doing fantastic. He's the current Feeder Masters individual champion and he's, he's been getting results all week. So everyone knows how good Darren is. So a lot of you didn't know that, but he was actually involved at one stage. Jamie, if you were buying one of the Matrix side trays, would you go for the flat one or the collapsible one? Side trays, if, you, if you're on a bit of a budget and you can only you know, buy or you only want to buy one side tray, just have a look at the different trays we've got. This is aimed specifically at Matrix, so I've got to answer that question. Just have a look at what sort of fishing you do, okay? If you fish commercials, for example, and you sat on a platform and it's a little commercial or a snake lake, you probably find that the the ones with the collapsible, you know, collapsible base with the lid and the box that you, a lot of you see me using, you probably may feel that's really not quite right for you because those types of trays are, are ideal. They're absolutely brilliant in places like Ireland where the wild open venues. The reason why is because usually the wind's blowing and on some of these venues when the wind's blowing it, it's incredible how strong that wind can be and if you've just got a flat bait tray like that it's amazing how many times in those conditions when it's really severe you can have bait boxes blown off those trays and things like that whereas obviously with a box a side tray box obviously you've got the benefit of a lid as well but it's actually sat in a recess and that stops all that and that's why those sorts of boxes sorry those sorts of trays are so good on those sorts of venues and that's why when you see me fishing in Ireland I just about exclusively fish with that style of side tray but when I'm on commercials you don't get that severe weather you know you might obviously get some rain and a little bit of wind with the rain we've obviously got the EVA side tray um, container that a lot of you see me use so you might find that's a little bit more specific for, for your needs so just have a look at the venues that you're fishing what type of venues you're fishing and just pick one obviously if you're on a budget just pick one to suit you know what is best for your style of fishing I've been asked this one a couple of times someone's asked me what the actual cost is to run this channel I know this is not a fishing question but a lot of you are watching this that are intrigued about it, all this sort of thing and a lot of you I know are interested in setting up your own channels or just making your own videos to actually run this channel the actual cost of this channel being here is zero it's free anybody can set up a YouTube channel simple as that it doesn't cost you anything and to keep it there doesn't cost you anything okay when people start talking about earning money from YouTube that is purely through what they call monetization and that basically means is when you set your channel up you can actually authorize YouTube 
simply by ticking a box in the settings area in the account settings where you can tick a box which allows YouTube to put adverts on your video and you can actually even determine the style of advert where it pops up is it a skippable advert where you can just click and skip or is it an advert that people have got to watch all the way through you can determine all these variables within your channel that is how re revenue is created directly through YouTube so if you've got monetize if you monetize your videos and you allow adverts on your videos you will get some revenue from that but if you don't want to make any money from it or you don't want adverts to kind of spoil your video which some people feel they do spoil then you just don't tick that box and you can just have a channel that's just out there for people to watch your videos free of charge but it won't generate any income after that the only cost that you've got is creating content and you can go on forever with that as you know a lot of people can make videos on the phone that's all you need you need a phone you can connect that to that and then upload direct to YouTube and your video is there so that's about as cheap as you're gonna get obviously on the flip side of that you could spend a fortune you could spend a million quid on putting videos creating videos more expensive equipment so all that side of things is entirely down to you so the actual cost of setting it up and keeping it there keeping it running keeping it live is free this is a bit more of a specific question and it's the last one for tonight so I don't want to rattle on too long for you somebody's asked me about fishing in in deep water but he says deep as, as regards 10 to 12 feet deep still water with a feeder in winter would you rather put a bed of bait down and sit on it or would you prefer to build your swim up it's a great question but unfortunately it's one that a it helps if you've got some background information about the venue and b a lot of that you just kind of need to find out on the day i always generally put something in at the start even if it's one feeder full and sometimes that might just be ground bait you know if you're using a ground bait that you're very confident in if it's a strong ground bait sometimes just a ground bait on its own is enough to draw fish in and in winter as we know fishing can be really really hard you might be fishing for one bite you might be fishing for two bites and in those scenarios if it is cold like that just don't pile loads of bait in you know sometimes ground baits all right on its own to draw fish in a fish because quite often you're fishing for one at a time you know you're not expecting a show of 25 to turn up and when you go in if you know there's only your hook bait there the chances of that fish finding your hook bait and picking it up is massively increased as opposed to if you put six feederfuls in packed with maggot or whatever then you know the chances of the fish picking out your single hook bait is you know a lot slimmer so it's just common sense if you're not sure just put one in and then build it up you know if the fish arrive then you can start introducing a bit more feed if you think you know the pegs ticking over and they want more feed if you don't know don't pile loads of gear at the start it's the oldest thing I was taught from being a kid that you all know about you can't take out what you've put in so if you're unsure about it decide to build it up slowly and just feel your way into it thanks for watching tonight I've got to leave on this big issue it's a big issue to me personally and that's purely because I need to ask a favor from you lot I know the subscriber numbers keep increasing which is fantastic I'm really pleased where that's going and obviously the views are staying up there so that's great it means I've been producing videos that you guys want to see what I need to ask you is I cannot show you my wall planner my wall planner is just ridiculous if I was a full-time angler I'd, I would consider it being too full already but as you know Monday to Friday I'm, I'm in an office working so it's packed this obviously means that because I'm, I've obviously got all the coaching to fit in and all that sort of thing that I love doing the coaching side is brilliant because it generates income for me to put back into this for you guys to watch so that's brilliant and so I've got loads of sessions booked in but what I'm saying is my time is really really precious now it always has been and I've got some major major events coming up some that I can't even tell you about yet what I need to ask you is will you please comment below and let me know what content you want to see I'm going to put a link to a video underneath it's a video that I did was just really about um, a day's fishing it's, it's about a lot of you will have seen it it's been there for months and months but I know a lot of new subscribers new people to the channel won't have seen it just check it out it's called quarry bream quest okay and basically it was me just going up to a local venue where I planned a session and I fished for some some old quarry bream on a big reservoir and it was just a nice day's fishing and I put it together in a slightly different way it was more of more of a style that you see on lots of other fishing channels a lot of you know this channel has been built around the live match kind of thing and this sort of thing this 
this one-to-one -one kind of um, format where you know I'm kind of interacting with you more and this is a style that's much easier for me to do and I can do this a lot more than the quarry bream type video purely because I don't have the luxury of loads of time to get on the bank and do that sort of thing and a lot of it is self-shooting which obviously limits the way and style that you film a lot of your, a lot of your videos what I'm asking you tell me below what kind of video you want to see because my time is precious and this means by doing that I'm going to be able to see exactly what you want to see so my time can be used just a lot more effectively in producing material and content for you that you want to see. That's it, that's the only thing I ask of you and if you can do that for me it means you're obviously going to be seeing you know, the styles and the sorts of videos that you want to see. Well that's it, it's Friday tomorrow. Fantastic. I can't believe how quick the, the weeks are coming around. For me, I'm going to be at Lawford Lakes on Saturday. I'm having a bit of a recce before the Golden Rod final, which is coming up in a few weeks' time. I just need to go there and just try one or two things out as regards targeting carp. I haven't been there for months and it's obviously very cold now, so I need some kind of um, confidence in one or two approaches that I'm thinking of trying out. So I'm there on Saturday, Sunday I'm out coaching, which I'm really looking forward to. So that's it, I probably won't see many of you this weekend, but don't forget to log on next week. There's loads of videos coming, like I said, I've been doing a lot of filming this week, even though there haven't been many uploads, the videos have been base and foundation filming for videos that are on the way covering big events, and I'm sure it's going to expose a little bit more information about you know preparing for matches that i know a lot of you want to see so that's it thanks for watching really appreciate it if you haven't subscribed already just click subscribe if that keeps rising and the views keep going up i'll keep producing content simple as that anybody wants to get in touch about you know what sorts of videos you want to see just email me if you go to the about section on this page that'll give you my email address for any other inquiries like that if not just comment below and that will give me a an exact list of the kind of things that you want to see. Thanks for watching, really appreciate it. Have a great day tomorrow and have a fantastic weekend. I'll see you next week.